Their triumphs and failures are forever etched on their skin. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 anime battles that left characters permanently scarred. For this list, we'll be looking at the heroes and villains in anime who suffered terrible wounds in battle that would go on to become marks of either pride or shame for the rest of their lives. Keep in mind, we're prioritizing the injuries themselves and whether we actually got to see them inflicted. So despite defining his character, we're going to have to skip over All Might this time. As always, you can follow this guy on Twitter at AshJBow, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which one of these scars you think is the coolest. <laughs> Number 10, Hajime Nagumo, Arifureta from Commonplace to World's Strongest. <laughs> You must suck being transported to a fantasy world and being the only one of your class to get the short end of the stick. With minimal power to his name and an apparent target on his back, Hajime found himself plummeting into the depths of a labyrinth occupied by all manner of monsters as well as a naked vampire. Hmm. <laughs> While he would eventually go full edgelord and manage to escape, he still had to go through a few rough days, wherein he lost his eye, his arm, and any reservations about the kill or be killed mentality. <laughs> Number 9 Kenshin Himura Rironi Kenshin Trust and Betrayal. <laughs> Ever wondered how the former Manslayer got his iconic X scar across his cheek? Turns out that not only would it go on to brand him for the rest of his life, but his accumulation of each cut would result in his perception on death and killing being radically shifted. While one scar came after slaying his target, Kenshin would gain the second at the hands of a woman he had given his heart to. Just a shame he had inadvertently killed her husband prior, and she has been gunning for him ever since. At least she had the courtesy to make the second strike match the other. So I have proven my innocence, have I? Now you listen to me! Number 8 Kenshiro, Fist of the North Star. What had originally meant to be a series of wounds to remind this Goliath of his failure to save the one he loved eventually became his most defining badass feature. That and uh, his ungodly amount of muscles. After being overpowered by Shin's forces and losing his beloved Yuria, the jealous love rival brands Kenshiro in the most painful way possible, stabbing him seven times in the chest with his fingers, creating a big dipper pattern in the process. Hope Shin enjoyed inflicting that, because in the long run all he accomplished was giving Kenshiro an iconic look and nickname, further spreading his legend across the wasteland. Good job, lad. <laughs> Number 7 Sasuke Uchiha, Naruto Shippuden. While both he and Naruto ended up losing their arms during their climactic showdown at the Valley of the End, only one of them actually bothered to keep it that way. While the seventh Okage scurried off to get a prosthetic attachment ASAP, Sasuke decided that he only needed one in order to kick ass and take names. Why 
Apparently, getting it blown off courtesy of a Rasengan Chidori shockwave made for a much better tale to pass down to Sarada. Plus, it totally fits with his brooding Dark Knight motif that he's flaunting these days. Hope he's a righty, though. Number 6, Luffy, One Piece. For the longest time, Shanks was the one rocking the iconic scars on account of him losing his arm in order to save his young charge when he was still just a kid. But Shanks, your arm! Your arm! That being said, we think Luffy managed to one-up his idol in this instance, courtesy of getting his chest nearly blasted open by a kainu following the death of Ace. Sure, plenty of pirates can boast about getting stabbed and shot, but how many can say the widespread scar on their body is from nearly getting melted by magma? <laughs> Number 5, Torkel, Vinland Saga. You give Torfin an inch, and he'll take a mile. As his duel with the mighty Danish warrior Torkel the Tall comes to a close, some last-minute words of wisdom from Ashlad reveal a possible weakness in the form of a glass jaw. This is proved to be true, leading to the giant of a man going down for the count. Normally, that would be enough, but considering this is Torfin we're talking about, he decided to pay him back for the broken arm by plucking out his eye. Lucky for him, Torkel is a good sport about it. <laughs> Number 4, Erwin Smith, Attack on Titan. <laughs> You've got to admire the stones this guy had. He led a suicidal mission in order to rescue Eren, charged straight into a swarm of titans, got his arm bitten off during the chase, and still barked out orders to finish the job. And that's a boss you can get behind. Even after getting his captain's arm devoured, the head of the scout still found a way to swing himself back into the fight and save the vengeful brat before he got shipped off with Big Bro Rainer and Bernie. We're still convinced he'd find a way to keep fighting even if he lost all his limbs. Yeah. Number 3, Scar, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. <gasps> <coughs> Kind of obvious, right? During the Ishvalan War of Extermination, this nameless warrior found himself losing everything to the madness of the Crimson Alchemist. With Philosopher's Stone in hand, Kimberly slaughtered many of Scar's countrymen, all before leaving him decimated in both body and soul. <laughs> While the mercy of Winry's parents saved him from death, he was left adorned with painful markings, most notably one on his face. Now fueled by hatred, Scar would go on to accept his new life as a murderer, sadly starting by taking away the life of those who saved him. <laughs> Number 2, Mikazuki Algus, Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron-Blooded Orphans. I finally understand how to use this. I can't believe it was so simple. If it meant helping Orga and the other abandoned residents of Mars, Mika was willing to do practically anything. Whether it be taking on the forces of Galahorn or pushing himself and Barbatos to the limits, this little firecracker doesn't hesitate to pull the trigger, though sometimes his body ended up paying the price. Huh? Mika! What's the matter? Are you in pain? No, it's... It's just, I can't move one of my legs. After taking on the likes of Ayn and the mobile armor, parts of Mika's body end up shutting down for good. First, it was his arm and eye, then everything except for his head. Sure, he had to be carried around everywhere, but put him in a Gundam and he'll still wreck you. Do you think what's happening to me is your fault? 
The fact that I'm like this now? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Guts. Berserk. <laughs> Where do we even start with this guy? You can literally point to any part of Guts' life and he's likely got a corresponding wound. Sword training as a child, getting his arm broken by Griffith, going head to head with Nosferatu Zod, cleaving through a hundred soldiers in one night. The list is endless. Though by far the most grievous injuries he's ever sustained came from his fight for survival during the eclipse. <laughs> Chopping his arm off with a blunt sword in order to escape a demon's jaws, getting his eye stabbed out by a talon, the sad truth is you can't even look at Guts now without being reminded of the horrors he endured. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.